I'm just driving up to Chief, which is like an hour north. I've booked a camp spot for tonight and I'm like really excited. This is my second time going camping on my own. When I say on my own, I've got Hamish, she's in the backseat around, I don't know if you can see him. Um, but I've got the car all loaded up. I've got a foam mattress for Ikea, it was like £50. Pound. So I've got like two car two parks for that in the back. I've got a sleeping bag, I've got a pillow, blanket. I've got my hoodie, which is like the closest thing I've got for camping. And then I've got like foods and a wee, like, I think this fridge is honestly like £30 pound for me. Like, and I just stole it from my dad. So I've got that behind this seat. And then in this seat, I've got my clothes and stuff, toiletries. My hiking boots are behind here. My floor food behind here and I've got the food up there. I'll show you when I get packed up. Maybe don't actually. No boy. We'll get it. So I got to the campsite and I don't know what you see things are. I got parked up. I booked a camper van, so literally parked right next to the reception, so I feel really really safe. Sorry, he's growling at a tree. You're gonna yeah. I just like got out the car and I thought I'll come a wee walk, like just explore the area a wee bit. I won't go far and I just like got my new my new wee rucksack and I packed it up with just some basic stuff. Like I put my waterproofs in it, I've got water and I've got like a protein bar and that's it really. So I uh, left the car and I went on a walk and within 10 minutes I found this path that leads to the nearby nearby village. So it was maybe like a mile and a half or something, I don't know, I put it on my map, I think it took it to like an hour or something like that. I, I didn't really plan on being away for an hour, I just thought I'd do a 20 minute walk to get him settled in and then like we'd make lunch or something like that. He's having the time of his life over there. Anyway, I tried to walk. It was really well signposted for this wee village until it got to a certain point where the path looked a bit less like, what was the word, formal, like, like trees falling onto it and it just wasn't as like clear a path. I was a bit like, mm, don't know if it's the right way. So I'm gonna walk back to the car now. I think I'm gonna make some lunch, chill for a bit. And I don't know what I'll do with this tonight, but I don't like all five Twilight movies. I might watch that tonight. I might read, I might film, I don't know. I'm just feeling really, really good and like calm and nice. Maybe just eating snow. We're going back to the car. Hamish, come here. What's this here? What is this? Come on, look. I wonder how I feel about me. <laughs> Thank you. 
I was going to have a nap. So me and Hamish came back, I walked about, maybe about two, half two. I made myself some lunch. And I let Hamish run about for a bit. And then, he's in time out just now. Mentally. He needed some time to chill out because the thing with Hamish is he will play and play and play and play and play. And then he'll end up making himself no well. Last minute from camping, he played for ages and some water for his toy and then the next day his feet were dead sore because he was in the cold for so long. So if you don't like put him in a time out, he will just keep playing until he's not well. Get a heat in him. So I put him in the car, then I went and we walk to the what do we call it? There's like a wee shop and stuff at the reception, it's really cute. So I went there, walked to the shop, went to the toilet. Explored a bit, it was really nice. Oh it's cool. Packing up the car, drive out of town and then Hamish vomited three times in the car. I only knew he vomited twice. So I saw the two in the car and then I like, it was on a towel so I just put the towel out the car and binned it. I was like right okay I'll just stay here for a bit. And then I tried to climb in the car, just, I was going to go for a nap and lie down and then like wake up with dinner later on. And I put my hand in his vomit. So then I was like fucking hell, I had to clean up, clean up that. And then by that point it was eight, ages had passed, I was like we just for coffee. Which is what I'm making just now. But I might also have a three pot noodle or something. I mean I'm a very bad book for a while, something like that. Anyway, I'll check you back in a minute. It was getting quite dark outside and I got scared because I was scared of being in the dark by myself. So I've just packed up the car, Hamish is in the back sleeping or going to sleep and I'm going to just get the car ready for going to bed so I've got some like, um, where are they? I had some window covers to put up and I can't find them. I'm going to put the windows down a wee tiny bit in the back so that there's airflow but not enough that a bad man can get in to get us. I'm also going to get ready for bed. I'm so cosy right now. I'm gonna watch Twilight. That was hold on, I'll show you Hamish as well. He's all cozy under the covers. Wait a second. He's his head, but his body's under the covers. Joke boy. So I'll probably just speak to you in the morning. <laughs> Obviously not. We just woke up. It's quarter to ten. And quite a good sleep last night. It wasn't worse. Like Hamish kept getting up and moving about, so I had to keep on like putting the covers back over him because um Oh, that was a bit of snow. Just fell off the roof. But yeah, it wasn't bad. I did need to pee quite a lot, but I held it until like seven in the morning so I was scared of the dark. Um and I took Hamish out. Oh, this car, like so I'm the only person here, there's like no one else. Everyone that was working was way home, obviously. Uh I don't know what time maybe like 11 or this car like pulled into the, the campsite and I was like what the fuck is that doing here so I thought it parked next to me and I faced my boyfriend and I was like oh my god there's a car right next to me and I <laughs> got one nice out <laughs> and I got Hamish all railed up because when Hamish you can make Hamish bark and sound really aggressive I was like Hamish who's that oh look he's doing it who's that who's that Good boy, well done. So, I uh, turned the lights on. So, uh, when I just leave the car came in, I turned them all off and I tried to pretend like I wasn't here. Right, lie back down now, we'll go out in a minute. We'll go out in a minute. We'll go out soon, baby dog. I don't know what he's doing. He's trying to come out the driver's seat, which he never does. Are you wanting out? Yeah, hold on, I'm going to let him out and I'll talk to him about it. Hey, we just having a wee stuff about. Whenever I've got up before, like to pee, I've took him out with me and he's just been like, I want to go back to bed, but now he's actually, he's up for the day, he's exploring. So I'm going to go to the wee cafe, my hair's a riot and I'm going to get ready for the day and I'll probably just head home. I was going to go a walk but it's so cold I need to get ready for New Year's Eve, I'm working tomorrow I had the best time, I almost didn't come Yesterday morning when I woke up I was like, I didn't, and it was raining and cold I was like, I do not want to go up north and sleep outside but, but now I'm here, I'm happy that I did it Bye Driving from the camp 
outside to like here. I, I think it's eight. I just came off. I just stole my car. There you go. I'm going to actually do a wee Starbucks haul. My Starbucks drink is always an old latte with caramel. But then recently, me and my pal had coffee and she got a blonde oat latte and I was like, I'm going to try that. And it was amazing. So this is my new drink of choice. And I also got, oh, it's so good. And I also got a toasty because everything that was veggie was sold out. Like I actually wanted the Beyond Meat breakfast sandwich. Didn't have it. So I was like, okay, do you have the fairy? It's next. It's a bit hot. Well, I think we're sharing this now. It's really, I don't know how you just ate that because it's actually hot. Keeping me up all night must be hard work. This is nice, isn't it? It's a bit hot, be careful. That burned me, I don't know how it didn't burn you. Right, can you relax for a minute? I feel really bad because I really wanted a coffee. I also brought loads of... I brought loads of breakfast food with me to make, but then it was snowing and I was like, I'm not going to get a stove out and make, like, bacon. Veggie bacon, obviously. <laughs> I tried to put all these really, like, lower highland towns. Not stop in the coffee shops. I don't really like Every time I go up north, Go to an independent. This is terrible. We ain't damning this bit. Oh, the cloth. I feel like this might have mustard on it. I don't think so. Yeah, every time I go to like an independently owned coffee shop up north, I don't like the coffee. And I'm such a basic bitch, but I do love Starbucks. And I feel bad, like, not supporting small businesses, but also I don't want to pay a fiver for a coffee I don't like when I know. Starbucks comes through every time. Deal is, I have the middle, you have the crusts. This is the middle bit. When I tell you, I love this dog more than life itself. And he just uses me. <laughs> I'm a bit, you're a bit. Because it's dangerous. Yeah. That's us, we're good to go now. Oh, you're the beast boy. He's a beastie beast. Oh, I got my mama.